By now we're going to add one of the testimonials that we created earlier into a page or post. In this example we'll just use a page, but the same uh, functionality works for posts in the same way, so they're really not any different. So I'm going to the pages area here of my site. I'm going to click on one of the pages I've created. Right now it's blank. And basically there's two ways to get a testimonial into your page or post. One is through a short code and one is through using the Insert Testimonials button to create that short code. So this one ends up being, I think, a little easier. So I'll just click on this button here, and that brings up our short code generator box. Let's just go through some of the basic settings that you can change. The first thing you notice is that there's a Design 1. And if you click on this, you'll see that there's Design 2. So you can play around with these and decide which direction you want to go with that. There's also the option to do and display the testimonial either as a single testimonial on the page. You can also have it rotate between testimonials, and you can choose to list them all. Right now we're going to focus just on the first one, display single testimonial. And so as this is selected, we're going to just select the one we want. And let's just select the one that we created earlier, John. As you can see, it immediately changes, and now John shows up with his words. Very long, actually. Um, his position, and that position links to his website. And now as you notice also, even though his image was rather large when we inserted it, it's now shrunk down and centered on him. A couple of things that we can change about it is simply the background color. We can change these easily. And for now we'll just choose like a, an orange. Um, we can choose rounded corners or straight uh, corners. We can choose to add a border or not. And we can add a shadow, or we can take the shadow away. So we have some options here. We can also make sure if we want to keep a rounded image, or if we want a, a square image. So we have that option too. And finally, we can adjust the image size, make it a little larger, where it is right now. We can make it that size, or we can make it very small. Or if you want, you can even specify uh, the exact height of the image. And if you specify that here, then you just go down and find it, which is right here. So as you can see, I just added more to our options by clicking on that advanced options word. So the other thing I want to mention is that you can also include some star ratings. I know that we had placed a rating in his testimony before, and if I click on that, it, it will show his rating below and we'll show you how many stars it's out of. And he gave it a 4 out of 5. Let's go again into the advanced options a little more, and we can adjust things like the text alignment. We can adjust the text color. We can adjust the size if we want to. We can adjust the size of both the subtitle color, italics or not, as well as the, uh, as the size of the subtitle. And we can do the same with the actual testimonial itself. So again, you have the title above, you have the subtitle, and then you have the testimonial itself, this body text that we can adjust. Color, size, all for those. Finally, we get into some other options such as the orientation. We can make this a portrait, which it is right now, or we can try to adjust it so that the image is more landscape. And this kind of comes more into play when you have a shorter text. In this case, it's kind of hard to see because the text is so long. Uh, we can also choose whether we want to keep the image before the text or place it afterwards. And we can do that both uh, landscape or portrait mode. And we have the image alignment. We can choose that to go right or left. Um, again, we, mo we mentioned the image size, and that's if you select specify above. The testimonial width, this will come in more into play as you're adjusting the, the testimonial on your page. So while these are here, the testimonial width and height, don't expect them to change too much within this preview box. This is mostly just for you to get an idea of, of how it will look, but it won't be exact. It, it can alter depending on how wide your page is and how high your, your page is. But you can have the option to set these manually. Um, and finally, testimonial alignment. This also is something that affects the way that the testimonial is in the layout of the page and doesn't really affect how it looks right now on the preview. 
Finally, we have the border color and the border width, which you can adjust to your liking here. So I can make this a little darker if I wanted, and I could increase the width of that. I think I have border off right now, so it's probably not showing. Whenever you enter widths or heights, make sure to add a um, TX for pixels or a percentage. You can also use EM if you want. And just so that you can see this, um, let's try that. So you can see my border now is there. It's about two pixels wide. So let's say I'm happy with this. I'm ready to insert it. Let's just generate that short code. And we can see that it's a pretty complex short code. Now what's cool about this short code is if we don't want to go through all this again with a different one, we could either um, copy and paste it below and just choose a different ID, or we can do the same thing right now, and it'll keep most of the settings and just change the person. So let's do that for Alyssa. You can see that it's the same one, but you see how the ID is different. And if we want to look up what the IDs are, we can simply go to our testimonials page and get the ID, which is located here in this column. So now back to the short codes. There's one other thing I want to show you, which is if you want a list of the short code arguments in here and how you can change them for different functionality, different customization. If you go to the settings page under testimonials and go to how to use, you'll see a link down here to short code arguments. And this will take you to the free version of the plugin, but it includes all the, the short code arguments um, and what you can do with them and just how they're set up. So take a look at these when you want and you can make adjustments as you like to the front of the, to the testimonial. So now that we have our short code ready to go, let's go and update the page. And let's take a look at our testimonial now. As you can see, it is how we set it up to be, showing the ratings, showing the image and the way we asked for it and linking to the site that we entered before. So that gives you an overview of how to insert a single testimonial onto a page. Again, if you need to make adjustments at this point, you can always go through the short code list and make adjustments according to these. Again, width, height, colors, etc. In the next tutorial, we'll cover how to rotate between testimonials.